Right, welcome back to the channel, folks. Mr. H here. Uh, so, oh, I'm behind on this very, very clearly. This was released, what, like nearly 12 hours ago now. Apologies! I do have a life. Uh, this is Godzilla King of the Monsters. A beautiful trailer. Uh, I haven't seen it. Some people were saying it was a TV spot, so I'm a bit intrigued because it is one minute long. Uh, and as I always do with these things, I will just watch it and talk about it and review it. So kind of a reaction, review, breakdown thing. Uh, but watch along with me. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a like. All that shit that YouTubers have to say. So let's, uh, well, without further, uh, further ado, let's just watch it. Roden. Hidora. Mothra. Oh my. They're everywhere. It's comforting. <laughs> oh, very nice. Our planet will ah. perish. Hang on, kid! And so will we. Oh. Unless we set Godzilla free. Oh. This time we join him. Oh, well, Don't holy shit. Dead. Good thing he's on our side. Ha. <laughs> Oh Here wow, okay. This is Godzilla's world. You just live in it. Damn right. Oh, very nice. Godzilla. Right, well, fuck me, there was a lot of new stuff in there, wasn't there? Right, let's crack on. Well, that was very good, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. Ah, awesome. Right, so let's, well, let's, um... I couldn't quite tell who was talking at the start. Roden. I don't think that's... I, definitely not Vera Farmiga's character. It's interesting that they actually have the names. Because obviously they, they got... Um, on all of the viral marketing as... You know, like Titanus. And, and all of that kind of stuff. But the fact that they actually call it Ghidorah, not Monster Zero. Ghidorah. Very, very interesting. And there's still Mothra as well. Mothra. Well, that's Millie Bobby Brown's character. So that's different people saying that. Roden. Yeah. Different people. Kidora. That's probably Vera Farmiga's character, by the sounds of it. Mothra. That's Millie Bobby Brown's character. Interesting. And then... Oh my. They're everywhere. <laughs> it's comforting. Ah, so good. So. Oh my. They're everywhere. So this is obviously as the... Uh, this is probably from the Argo. The, uh, the the mobile base of operations for Monarch. And obviously in the background here. Although now I'm a bit confused by this shot. Because the background I would normally have said. In the, late, in, in the later part of this trailer, there's another shot of King Ghidorah. So prior to seeing that shot, I would have said that this was Rodan's volcano. But I'm not so sure now. Not so sure at all. This is Kyle Chandler's character. For those that you're not aware, this chap is said to, is said to uh, play some of the action. wants to kill all of the Titans. So that's quite interesting. Uh, he's obviously working alongside Monarch. Kind of like a tracker, I guess you could say. Comforting. That shot's amazing. That's the Fenway Park one. So good. Nice to see these Monarch uh, trucks here. Sorry, there's a bit of light shining on my face. These are obviously Monarch trucks, but I'm wondering what the truck is over here. Whether that's Monarch as well. Um, but definitely not. Like, a lot of people still think this is Rodan. It's definitely not Rodan. Like, for sure it's not, Ro uh, not Rodan. Mothra. I don't know where I got Rodan from. Fucking idiot. That's an awesome shot. That is actually part of what was in the Empire magazine releases of uh, King Ghidorah. I wonder where, what part of the movie this would be from because there's another shot which kind of corresponds to this where he's atop a hilltop and that's what makes me think that it's a similar mountaintop to Rodan. But the effects work is just staggering. Like it's really... They've touched it up quite a lot in terms of the effects on this. They've really adjusted it and changed it from each trailer, which is surprising because we'd heard that they'd locked in the final edit for Godzilla for a long time. I would say that's probably not the case, or at least they locked in 
the final edit with respect to everything else outside of the effects because they've definitely touched up the effects here. I mean, even on this, as it's paused, you can even see the scale effects now coming through much, much better on part of the wing there. It's so, so good. Such a great shot. Planet will perish. See, there you go. So that. Our planet will perish. This here makes me think, well, that's got to be, or maybe it's not. I don't know, I look at this now and I think that that was what it was in the background to when Kyle Chandler's character was talking, saying, well, that's a comfort. See here. It's comforting. See there, right? And then we go over to here. It's the same bloody bloody place, isn't it? Or maybe this is in, in ancient times. Who knows? Very, very difficult to, to distinguish between the two. They do look very, 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 very similar. Like, you can see it. See? It looks near near the same. Very similar. Uh... But what a great shot. What a, what a great shot. And clearly not before he's been frozen in uh, in Antarctica. Because obviously, I, I mean, there's, there's Jesus Christ cross there. So, you know, crucifix. Um, but obviously, you can see the display of all of the... Uh, well, the fact that he can just create storms and... Stuff like that, absolutely unbelievable. Really, really, really nice. And just the, the magnitude of the creature here, crazy. The scale. I think what was so good about Gareth uh, Edwards' Godzilla was the sense of scale. Like a lot of people, you know, bitch and moan about Godzilla. There, there was not much uh, Godzilla in a Godzilla film. Um, but what he managed to create really, really, really um, to a high degree, uh, way more than just competent is his sense of scale his sense of scale is unlike any other and I really do hope that they replicate that uh, in this movie I mean Rodan there just looks uh, why am I getting the names wrong today King Ghidorah just looks crazy absolutely crazy Hang on, kid! oh okay wow well. so I would imagine they're in Mexico on the ground base I'm surprised to see that and so will we that's a great shot. Ah, oh, God. There's a lot on this. And so will we. Awesome. And I tell you what, this does indicate to me more and more is that the, the maquette that was leaked, um, or at least the model, is what was pretty much legit. Um, I think they were finalizing the designs of whether they'd have feathers or not on Rodan. But, I mean, this is just. What an awesome shot. Uh, again, sense of scale here, I think, is definitely there. And I think that bodes really, really well for the film. This is said to be as they lead Rodan away from the volcano as he emerges over to uh, King Ghidorah. They're kind of, uh, from the set visits, they're said to be pulling him away um, to actually battle King Ghidorah. So that will be quite interesting to see how that pans out. Uh, notice there's not too much magma flowing off of Rodan here because he is said to just have that pouring off of him um, at quite a few times. So that's quite interesting to see as well. But that, what a... Oh, Jesus Christ, what an awesome shot that is. Um, just fast forward it a little bit. It's good to see Mothra back in the trailers because she was absent from the last TV spot, Intimidation. But that's a great shot. That's a really, really great shot. Really, really nice. It's interesting as well because this corresponds to what we'd already seen in the trailers, whereas King Ghidorah lights up the, uh, you know, the gravity beams. I guess they're probably not going to be called gravity beams in this, but that's probably a corresponding shot there. But what an awesome, just so good. The effects are top notch now. Unless we set Godzilla free. This time we join him. Who's that? Is that is that the battle between Rodan as well? It is, isn't it? I mean, just even that alone, the, the grading that they've managed to do, the shading on it all, is just spectacular. Really is great. This time we join him. Yeah, see, that's the magma that I was talking about. That's Rodan. You can see the magma coming off in the lava. Uh, I will be intrigued to see how they, uh, they justify that in the film because that's a difficult one to justify, I think. But just from this alone, again, the effects are just staggering. They really, really nailed it in. I would be intrigued to see what the budget is for this film. I don't think they've revealed anything as yet. Uh, but the budget for this must be, I mean, 
hundreds of millions easily 200 300 400 easily just for these effects alone uh hopefully we're going to be getting a lot of the monsters in the film and that would indicate that it would be two yeah easily 200 million um i would imagine dollars of a budget that's messed up good thing he's on our side so good interesting to see the spines there different so this is I would imagine late-ish or at least midway through the film because a lot of people have uh, been kind of pinpointing out the, the dorsal plates to something which is indicative of Godzilla changing throughout the film. Uh, I would imagine that that is partway through the film, maybe, uh, as he's reached his kind of... Well, they, they, they said to give a reason for the change, maybe a, a power-up of some kind. Beautiful. And that is... Uh, Ken Watanabe's character. We've seen this as well. Like I, I said it from the, the other trailer that I would imagine it's him because he's obviously in a submersible going into where uh, Godzilla's secret lair is, where he's chilling out, just, you know, down by a, a lava flow of some sort. But he uh, apparently walks right up to him and touches him, which is, well, I mean, it's not exactly the smartest move in the world, is it, to be fair? But that, I would say, looking at it, I wouldn't imagine that's... Because I'm tempted to say that it could even be Millie Bobby Brown's uh, hand due to the clothing that's on it. But I don't I don't think that's the case. I don't know. Because the Ken Watanabe's character is wearing a suit. But this might be... This might actually be another character, in fairness. And they might have just uh, composed the edit to lead everyone uh, astray. But I wouldn't say that that's... No, I mean, it's clearly not a little girl's hand, is it? But the suit that Ken Watanabe's character was, was wearing was almost like a hazmat suit. That's clearly not a hazmat suit. That look, It looks like a hoodie. So <laughs> I don't think that's uh, Ken Watanabe at that point in time, unless he just takes it off, which is dumb, but never mind. Here we go. This is God's Lewis world. So good. Again, that sense of scale. This concerns me. This shot here, and I'll tell you why, because this looks to be one of the final battles uh, towards the end of the film. We can see King Ghidorah there, presumably off to one side would be Godzilla. If they're going to give us the monster battles from the the the, uh, the the point of view of the humans at all times, that is going to be really, really bad because that's what they did in Godzilla and we could barely see shit. So hopefully this is not the case, but this does actually concern me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Damn right. So good. Awesome. Right, well, that's that done. I'm done with this now. Uh, that was great. What a great trailer. Thank you so much for your patience, as always. What did you think of this trailer? Did I point out anything that maybe you had missed? I know it was a bit rambly in parts, uh, but I like to do these, these trailer reactions in this manner. I like to just go through it step by step. Uh, and you guys seem to really like the last one, hence reiterating it here and kind of retread in the same format so let me know your thoughts though down below in the comment section as always if you're new here hit subscribe uh, and if you like what i do and all of this other stuff that i do here on the channel then consider checking out my patreon page in the link down below in the description box but as always guys let's keep the hype train going for godzilla and uh yeah let's uh leave your thoughts down below as always guys i've been mr h take care